Welcome back to Slay the Spire. Today we are starting a run as the Silent. Let us embark. <clears throat> Hello again. At least confront the first boss. Enemies in your next three combats have one hit point, max HP, plus seven. Yeah, until we confront the first boss with any given character, we won't be able to pick very many things in this starting in this starting dialogue. He doesn't give us many options. Um, what do we want to take? Max HP, or enemies have one hit point. Uh, you know what? We'll take the hit point. Granted. Alright. So our first three battles are going to be just a walk. So, with that in mind, I wonder... I wonder if we could manage one, two, three, and tag an elite before this wears off. I also wonder if, if elites are affected by it. I never actually tried that. Well, let's see. Two fights, three, and then an elite. Uh, one fight, two, and then an elite. One fight, bonfire. Alright. Uh, you know... We got one elite this way, two this way, and this path also doesn't deviate. We're stuck here if we go this way. Over here we've got one elite here, and that's it. We've got one way up here, which we can access from either of the paths over here. We've got a second one right there. Uh, you know what we're going to do? We're going to try and hit two elites. We're going to go fight. Question marks, fight, bonfire, elite. And we're gonna hope these aren't combats. And we're gonna we're gonna go from there. Alright. Let's get down to business. Let's strike you. Let's strike you. Wish they could all be that easy. Get some gold, attack potion, and a card. Quick Slash, deal 8 damage, draw 1 card. Backflip, gain 5 block, draw 2. Calculated Gamble, discard your hand, draw that many cards, exhaust. Also, our uh, starting relic. At the start of each combat, we get 2 additional cards. Uh, we'll take Backflip. We'll take Backflip. Among the stone and boulders, you notice an intricate large blue statue resembling a wing. You find gold spilling from its cracks. Maybe there is more inside. Remove a card from your deck, lose 7 HP. Or requires card with 10 or more damage. Uh... I don't particularly want to remove anything, I don't think at this point. Oh, uh, maybe a defend. You know what? We'll lose seven health. Someone once told you of a cult that worshipped a giant bird. As you kneel in prayer, you begin to feel lightheaded. You wake up sometime later, feeling strangely fleet of foot. We'll get rid of a basic defend. Why? Because we just got backflip, and we also have survivor. We've got a lot of block in our deck right now, so we'll thin out some of the some of the less useful of it. A gremlin is madly shuffling cards on a table. This monster seems to be a harmless one. You approach him out of curiosity. Twelve cards. Match them to keep them. Five tries, no do-overs. Are you ready? Let's start. Alright. Well, what do we got? Pain. While in hand, lose one hit point whenever you play another card. I don't want that. Bullet time. Okay. 
Flying Knee. Deal 8 damage. Next turn, gain energy. I would love another Neutralize. Flash of Steel. Deal 3 damage, draw 1 card. Alright. Take Neutralize. And Endless Agony. Whenever you draw this card, add a copy into your hand. Flying Knee. Alright, well, we gotta neutralize. You can play the Gremlins game and look up. He disappeared. Uh, I'm, I'm happy with a neutralize, honestly. Oh, damn it. I was hoping to avoid. I was hoping to avoid combat. But that's okay. Dagger Spray, deal 4 damage to all enemies twice. Endless Agony and Sucker Punch, deal 7 damage, apply 1 week. We're gonna take Dagger Spray. Alright, well, our Elite is gonna have normal health. But, that's okay. Acrobatics, draw 3 cards and discard. Prepare to draw 1, discard 1. Piercing Whale. All enemies lose 6 strength this turn. Uh, we'll take Piercing Whale. Alright. Well, I don't think we want to heal. We're barely hurt. Instead, we want to upgrade. Upgraded Survivor is really good. Upgraded Neutralize is also really good. Um... Hmm... For right now, we're gonna upgrade Survivor. And move on to our first Elite. Man, I would have loved for you guys to have one health apiece. Choose one of three random attack cards added to your hand. It costs zero. Uh, we might do that. For right now, we're going to backflip. Uh, we're going to neutralize. It's not going to do anything because he's guarded with an artifact, but we'll at least get rid of that artifact. Um... Let's use our strength potion. Or our attack potion. Might as well. Backstab, flying knee, choke. Uh, let's take choke, because it's going to cost zero. 12 damage. And whenever we play a card for the turn, I think... Whenever you play a card this turn, the enemy loses three hit points. So... Do that. And you know what? The piercing whale. Get rid of the rest of your artifacts. Knock your damage down. Then we can neutralize them if we get that card again. There's Neutralize. Toss that on you. Then... Uh, defend. Defend. And Dagger Spray. Yep. I said Dagger Spray. There we go. I'm gonna take a little bit of damage here. But that's alright. big deal. Alright. Well, this hand kind of plays itself here. We're gonna toss Choke on you. Deal you the damage. Because then we're gonna use Survivor. Discard it Dazed. That's gonna deal three damage to you. Then, we're gonna neutralize you. It's gonna deal three more. We could have killed him. 
I understand this. But honestly, I want to get this guy down lower. And I want to guarantee that um, my train of thought just derails. That's the most important thing, that my train of thought <laughs> completely derails. Okay, uh, let's see. Let's get rid of you with two strikes. And then defend. Take a little bit of damage, but he's not going to attack this turn. So leaving him alive, it's okay. He's going to add more dazed. Now, he's attacking this turn. We'll get rid of him. Then we can backflip. Strike. Strike. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, more dazed. I get it. <clears throat> well, that's unfortunate. I was hoping for at least one defend. Dagger spray, strike. And, sadly, we will have to let him hit us. But that's the end of him. 27 gold. Whetstone. Upgrade two random attacks. I like it. Could have been better, could have been worse. A Thorns Potion. Fleshets? I think that's how you pronounce that. It's not Fletchets. I'm almost positive of that. <clears throat> Deal four damage for each skill. Flying Knee deal 8 damage, next turn gain energy, Slice deals 6 damage. Um, flying Knee. Alright. What do we got? Our Elite is over here. So we're gonna go... You know, we could go up this way. Hit the store and then cut over. I think that's the play. Uh, what do we do here? We heal. I hate to do it, but we heal. 47 gold upon pickup, raise your max HP by 7. Alright. Uh, could have been a lot better, but. <clears throat> As you make your way down a long corridor, you see a banana, a donut, and a box floating about. No, upon closer inspection, they are tied to strings coming from holes in the ceiling. There is a quiet cackling from above. As you approach the objects, what do you do? Heal some health, max HP up, or obtain a relic, become cursed. At the end of your turn, lose hit points equal to the number of cards in your hand. Well, we can get rid of that. We can go to a shop and get rid of our curse. We don't need healing. We just wasted a bonfire to do it. We just got some max HP. Let's get the relic. What did we get? At the start of your at the start of each combat, add three shivs into your hand. You grab the box. Inside, you find a relic. However, you really crave the donut. You are filled with sadness, but mostly regret. I'm not sure I want that donut. That icing... That looks really thick. That's the kind of icing that your teeth hurt when they bite into it. So, I, I'm actually good with the relic. <clears throat> Alright. We have got a lot of options. Um... First, we're going to neutralize you. Then, what do we want to do from here? We've got three shivs. You've got 12 damage we can just dump on someone. I think we're going to dump it on you. Because you're going to you're gonna turtle up. 
Um. Flying me. Get rid of you. Alright. Then. We're gonna survive her. And we'll discard. Uh, defend. Then. Do we backflip? 11 damage, 11 health. Uh, we just toss a shift. And then. Strike. <clears throat> Man, speaking of donuts and food, I just had lunch a little bit ago. It was a Stouffer's lasagna. And it's advertised as lasagna with meat and sauce. Now, I get it, right? There's such things as, as meatless lasagnas. Like, there's, there's, uh, vegetable lasagnas, you know? There's, uh, cheese lasagnas. Yeah, we're good. But I always thought, like, and, you know, I had a, a meatball lasagna once. There's all kinds of lasagnas. But I always thought that, like, a sauce was a staple of... Of lasagna. Like, if you had a lasagna, it had sauce. Because what is a lasagna without sauce? Uh, what do we want? Deflect, doppelganger, prepared. Ah, uh, prepared. Like a, like a lasagna is noodles, sauce, and filling. If you don't have the sauce, like, the filling can be anything. It could be cheese, vegetables, meat, meatballs, well, whatever. You have to have the noodles for a lasagna. That's pretty good. I like that. Um... Bronze scales? Infinite blades, though. Oh, boy. See, here's the problem. In the lasagna... That is my deck. Infinite blades are like the noodles, and bronze scales are like the sauce. You know, you gotta have both. Otherwise, it's not a lasagna. Uh... Oh my goodness, we also need to go... Okay, alright, alright. First things first. We gotta get rid of this. That's a no-brainer. So... We can still afford either Infinite Blades or the Thorns. Uh, right now we're going to take the Bronze Scales. We can try to pick up Infinite Blades later. And... We don't need a Bonfire. We'll just go right here. Shimmering Mass of Light encompassing center of the room. Upgrade two random cards, lose 15 health. I don't want to do that. You walk around it wondering what it could have been. You know what it could have probably been? Two basic defends. At the cost of 15 health. I'm not about that. So if you've got... A lasagna. Without noodles. You've just got meat and sauce. Or you've got filling and sauce. Right? Where's our... We don't have Neutralize. We've drawn practically every card in our deck. We don't have Neutralize. Uh, draw one, discard. Piercing Whale. Uh, let's discard uh, Survivor, because he's not attacking. Um, let's just shiv him. Strike him. Backflip him. Flying knee. There we go. We'll get energy next turn. And... Eh, we don't need those. Then you're just left with sauce and filling. If you don't have the filling... Well, if you don't have the filling, you've just got... Spaghetti. 
right? You've got noodles and you've got sauce. Alright. Let's tag them with neutralize. Dagger spray. Upgraded strike. Regular strike. And... Let's just use our regen potion. Do we need to do this? We're taking 10 damage right now. If we do this, we're taking 7, right? Yeah. Math. And if you don't have the sauce, you've got just the noodles and the filling. So can you call it a lasagna without sauce? That's what I want to know. You can call it a lasagna without meat. But can you call it lasagna without sauce? He's going to attack us. He's going to hit our thorns. He's dead. We're going to take damage, but we got him. So advertising it as lasagna with meat and sauce, it just seems superfluous, really. Deal 12 damage. If you have discarded a card this turn, gain 2 energy. Dagger throw. Draw one, discard, nine damage. Uh, we'll take dagger throw. <clears throat> Let's upgrade something. Let's upgrade our other neutralize, honestly. Not only is two weak, more than one weak, that's actually twice as much. I remember learning that in school. Alright. Like, you shouldn't have to say that your lasagna has sauce. That's what I'm getting at. It should just be a given. You could say it has meat, because that might not be a given. But, you know, sauce, yeah, a lasagna is going to have sauce. Slap him around. Strike him a few times. Make him change his uh, form here. And at that point, uh, not much to do. Gain three thorns. Do we want to do that? Let's do it. Uh, no point in striking him. And it was a good lasagna, too. I like Dofer's lasagnas. I always have. Let's draw and discard. Uh, we'll discard a basic defend. Sure. He's got some thorns up. So we're gonna guard. Then we're gonna figure... Uh, flying knee. Yeah. Get some energy for next turn. I remember back when I was a kid, though. Stouffer's frozen dinners were a lot better. They seem to have definitely lowered in quality. 16 damage. Uh, neutralized. 12 damage. Some defend. Uh, dagger spray. Then we'll be taking a lot of damage here. But you know what we've got? fairy in a bottle. So, I think what we're going to do is go all in on this guy. Use the energy that we got. Alright. Some more neutralize. It's going to deal 12. It's flying knee. Defend. And uh, hit him with a strike. <clears throat> she had a freezer, my grandma. She had a freezer. This big freezer that she used to have in her garage. And I remember she would have this thing stacked with uh, Stouffer's frozen dinners. Usually lasagnas. 
Uh, there we go, there's Flying Thief. And we can actually put a little bit of damage on him. Lose 6 strength this turn. But they don't lose it permanently. It's just for this turn. So put a little damage on him. Yeah, she was always making uh, Stouffer's lasagnas. And... What do we want to do? While we defend... We neutralize. And... Let's actually, let's actually mitigate our damage this turn. Instead of throwing ourselves at him this turn, let's just mitigate it. Take as little as possible. Wait for a better opening. Alright. Neutralize him again. Should have played Survivor first. That would have been the smart, that would have been the smart move. Let's backflip. And he's gonna do 12, we got 16. Uh, we can dagger throw him. And still be fine. <clears throat> what else did she used to have a lot of? She had Stouffer's lasagnas. She had, uh... There was some kind of casserole that she had a lot that she'd always got. 46. I don't know that we're going to pull that off. So, it's flying knee, strike him, and defend. Uh, fish sticks. She used to love those. But I'm getting, I'm getting off topic here about the lasagnas. The quality's definitely gone down a little bit in Stouffer's Stouffer's lasagnas. And it's sad, but true. However, on on the other end of that, Stouffer's is, is probably the highest quality frozen dinner I can think of. I've tried a lot of frozen dinners. And... Alright. We'll have to turn I've tried a lot of frozen dinners. They just don't seem... They don't seem worthwhile. They don't seem worth the price. Like, that's, I guess, the bigger thing. Is it isn't so much that, uh... You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna defend. We're gonna Piercing Whale. Then, uh... We're gonna Neutralize. Strike. Str non defenergy energy Okay. They're the only pros in dinner I think that's worth the price. And strike. He's dead. Uh, back in the day, Hungry Man. Hungry Man frozen dinners were were high quality. Adrenaline, gain energy, draw two cards, die, 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 deal 13 damage to all enemies, exhaust. Uh, let's take that. Hungry Man was was top notch back in the day. I don't know what they decide to do or change, but it is disgusting nowadays. Gain energy at the start of your turn. All enemies start combat with one strength. Upon pickup, obtain a unique curse and three relics. The first time you discard a card each turn, gain energy. Uh, let's get three relics. Yeah. Curse of the Bell cannot be removed from your deck. But it doesn't do anything, it just takes up space. Alright. Ancient Tea Set. Whenever you enter a rest site, start the next combat with two energy. Ink Bottle. Whenever you play ten cards, draw one card. Pocket Watch. Whenever you play three or less cards during your turn, draw three additional cards at the start of your next turn. Uh... Not gonna lie, we got a little bit of buyer's remorse from that. 
If I could do that differently, I would do it differently. Let's see. Got shops all over the place here. And seemingly none that I can see up here. So if we want a shop, we gotta hit up one of these early ones. And I think we're gonna go over here trying to get the most money we can before reaching a shop. When we get here, we'll see how we're looking. If we want to go to an elite, we can do that. Otherwise, we'll just go around him. <clears throat> yeah, Hungry Man. Ah, that's, that's awful. My hand is full. Well, you know what we got. We got die, die, die. Then we got Dagger Spray. Then we got Shivs. They're all stunned. It's Shiv. 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 Uh, let's see. Who do we want to strike? Strike the biggest one. And we'll neutralize you. Pretty good opening turn. Yeah, we could have focused one of them down, but they're stunned. They have to waste a turn. That was the right call. Alright. So... A little bit of damage. Uh, we'll neutralize you. And we'll defend. Defend again. We get a flying knee. Eight damage? Do it to you. That way when you attack us, you die on the thorns. And there are other frozen dinners that come to mind. Um, he says as every other frozen dinner I was thinking of just went out of my mind. That they're not bad. But they, they're just... The, the, they just cost way too much for what they are. Dagger throw. You're out of here. Two dexterity. That's good. Infinite blades. But footwork. Ah. Uh. Gotta go footwork for right now. Gotta do it. All right, start with a neutralize. Prepared, discard something. I uh, will discard a basic strike. Flying knee, a couple of shivs. Uh, dagger throw, discard a strike. And then survivor. we got up here? Dexterity. Alright. We don't need that right now. God, what are some frozen dinners I've had recently? Devour. Devour, uh... It's not bad. But, honestly, I don't... I do not think it is worth the price of admission. Suffer. No, that would be a hungry man frozen dinner. If you wanted to, if you wanted someone to suffer, you'd you'd give him one of those. Dagger spray. Strike. Uh, then we got a. Uh, we got nothing. Yeah, we can backflip. Maybe draw another neutralize. Hey. That works. The last Hungry Man dinner I had 
was... What do we got? 24 health. Alright, we're not going to be able to come even close to... ...to killing him here. We can dagger throw. Get out of here. And then we can strike him. It's a lot of sevens. <clears throat> the last hungry man dinner I had was a frozen... Um, chicken. It was like mashed potatoes, a chicken... chicken drumstick? Something else? And... This chicken was... It was horrific. It was soggy. It was gristly. Masterful stab. Plus. Costs one energy each time you lose HP. This combat deals 16 damage. Dash plus 13 block 13 damage. Uh, dash plus. Like, when you were... When, when you would be eating this chicken, you would be spitting out more gristle and just stringy nastiness than you would be actually eating anything. The breading was flavorless. It was falling off the chicken. <clears throat> and it's just sad, because I remember how good Hungry Man used to be. Uh, what do we want to do? We've got... Footwork. Then, we've got Dash Plus. I'm gonna use that. Oh, that's right, I use it on somebody, not on myself. Something about, something about Dash Plus makes me think I use it on myself. Always does. 15 damage. Who do we want to throw that at? Uh, throw it at you. 16 incoming, 15 to us. We can shiv this guy. He's gone. He's out of here. He's a distant memory. 15-15. End the turn. Years and years ago. And I have to say years and years ago, because my memory works in strange ways. You know, I'm sure everybody's does, actually, come to think of it. And to me, it seems like it was just yesterday. Like, maybe a few months ago. But in actuality, this was back in when I was... In I don't know, high school, and over at my girlfriend's house, and I remember her father, uh, my, her father, my father-in-law now, he stopped at the grocery store on the way home from work, and he picked up frozen stuff for dinner, because he weren't going to have time to actually have dinner that night. We were doing something, I don't remember particularly what it was, but we were doing something. And he picked up a Hungry Man dinner for me. Got a little bit of damage on him. There we go. And it was actually the chicken one, I remember. And it was really good. Like, I thoroughly enjoyed it, just like I always enjoyed Hungry Man back then. And that sticks in my mind, because that was... The last time I had a Hungry Man Frozen dinner. For a long time. Uh, I don't really... I don't know why. That's just the way, that it, the way that it went. You know, we don't always know how things go or why they happen, but... That was just the way that it went. And then, just years down the road, I thought... You know what, hey, don't have time for dinner, have to get something frozen. Uh, this might have actually been when I was living in an apartment, and yeah, I was living in an apartment and my fiancé and, fiance and me, who's now my wife, would go to the Walmart down the street for dinner sometimes, and they, they had a very robust frozen section. I can, I can tell you that. And 
we tried all kinds of stuff. There, like, frozen Chinese stuff and all that over the course of, like, the two years that we were in that apartment. And I remember getting a hungry man. At some point in time. And we got three. Hit you with that. Hit you with this. Uh, backflip. Draw some cards. Doesn't matter, we can't use them in the turn. And I thought, hey, Hungry Man is really good. And I haven't had one in such a long time. It was, and it was disappointment. It was nothing but disappointment. <sighs> Feel like I'm getting something off my chest here with this Hungry Man rant. Because I felt betrayed, honestly. I felt betrayed. Because there was also a, a section in that in that frozen case. What are you doing? Eight damage, seven. You got eighteen. All right. Uh, there was the uh, the Mexican section in that frozen department where they had burritos and they had taquitos and all that kind of stuff. And there were burritos there. There were ninety nine cents. 15, 13, all right, well, dash, strike, your history. And the reason the hungry man being so disgusting hurt so much is because those 99 cent burritos, they were better than the hungry man. And the hungry man was like $5.30, something like that. My disappointment was overwhelming, all right? And my day was ruined. Okay. <laughs> my disappointment is overwhelming, my day is ruined. However that goes, that's what it was. Blade dance, acrobatics, quick slash, we'll take blade dance. Disappointment was immeasurable, that's what the meme is. And my day was ruined. All right, what do we got here? 202, we can afford this. When viewing your draw pile, the cards are now shown in where I rarely ever view my draw pile. At the start of your turn, add a random colorless card into your hand. Exhaust up to three cards. We got some poison. But I'll tell you what. We haven't added any poison in yet. I don't know if now is the time to start. Not when we got... We got a card removal. Unfortunately, we can't remove that curse. It's a unique curse. So, I think more footwork is the answer. Potions that we want? No, not particularly. Potions, potions are a waste to buy, honestly. They're a waste. At the rate that you find them, don't buy them. Find yourself in a room filled with racks of test tubes, beakers, flasks, forceps, pinch clamps, stirring rods, tongs, goggles, funnels, pipettes, cylinders, condensers, and even a rare spiral tube of glass. Why do you know the name of all these tools? It doesn't matter. You take a look around. Oh yeah, there's something spilling out of this, there's some vials, there's what looks like a, it's like a distillery, there's a butt for over in the corner there, right there. Search. Find some potions. You know what? There you go. You find potions. They just fall out of the sky. Choose one of three random colorless cards. Escape a non-boss combat. Uh, smoke bomb. We'll take that, because there's some annoying combats that I wouldn't mind being able to get away from. Uh, we smith. What do we smith? That's tempting. But, we gotta smith a footwork. Uh, we're in pretty good shape. Not only that, but we've got a tea set. So with that in mind, we're gonna go fight these guys. <laughs> Alright. Where do we start? Five energy. One, two, three, four, five, six. Alright. We'll start with prepared, we might get a uh, 
neutralized. That's what I was hoping for. And we're going to get rid of the basic strike. We're not going to need that. Next. Let's neutralize you. Then... Let's dump some ships on you. Then... Toss the footwork out there. Flying knee. Strike. We're gonna backflip. We're probably going to Piercing Whale. Ooh. Uh, yeah, we're gonna Piercing Whale. They're not going to do a ton of damage. Would have loved to have played Blade Dance, but it is what it is. <clears throat> Ow. Alright. Let's purge our thoughts of frozen dinners for the moment. And focus on... Uh, not dying. Dagger spray. And then a dagger throw. Uh, it, I know it'll kill him. But it's also a lot of damage. Throw it at you. What are we going to discard? Well, we're going to be dealing with 15 damage. So we're going to discard a strike. Get rid of you. Oh. I miscounted. That's okay. That is okay. Uh, what do we got? We got defend. We got defend. And we got die, die, die. It's not enough, but we should win this fight pretty handily at this point. It might hurt us, but they're getting their numbers are getting a little big. That should not necessarily be a problem. We got neutralize. We gotta neutralize. Uh, let's see. First, let's get rid of you. Let's just do the deed. Get rid of you. Uh, I've got some more footwork. And we got defend. There we go. One defend is all we need. These guys love adding their wounds, don't they? Uh, yeah, let's dash. Strike. Strike. What do we got? Some gold. Snucko Skull. Whenever you apply poison, apply an additional one poison. Well. Shit. That's all I can say. <laughs> You hate to see it. Uh, we don't... Do we want to get rid of... No, I'm good. I like the potions I have. Predator, deal 15 damage. Next turn, draw two additional cards. Draw three, discard one. Seven damage, apply one weak. Don't need them. Alright. Well, we're going to start this out right by gaining 5 dexterity. <coughs> then we're going to neutralize. And then we're going to toss some shivs. What is this? Okay. Um, dagger spray? Yeah, might as well. 
Do a little more damage to him. Alright. Well, neutralize. Then he's dealing 15. There's 12. Discard a strike. Toss a defend. Hit him with a knee. Do we branch into poison? It's tempting. And it's tempting because even just the addition of a few poison cards, even just one or two, might be worth it. Since we have the Sneko Skull. 15? Uh. 7 block? Scream at you. That's what I thought. Should have done that first. Let's grab three shivs. Toss those your way. Hit you with a strike. I'm gonna save that. Discard the Curse of the Bell. Then... <clears throat> I will Dagger Throw. He's not attacking, so we can discard Backflip. Hit you with a Flying Knee. Hit you with a Dagger Spray. Oh, he's attacking now. Here he comes. Um, seven times three, huh? Well, I just happen to have seven times three. As well as a couple neutralizes and a strike. Gotta love thorns. Slice, escape plan, and dagger throw. Uh, draw one card. If you draw a skill, gain three block. This seems like there's no downside. It pops up in your hand, costs nothing to play, replaces itself immediately, and has a chance to be free block. This is basically a card that is free, that says, hey, flip a coin, you might get some block. We'll take it. <coughs> Oddly smooth stone. Start each combat with one dexterity. I love it. <clears throat> Alright. Well, start with prepared. Get rid of you. Footwork. Uh, let's see. Die, die, die. Who do we want to go after? You've got 12 damage. And an additional 9 from Dagger Throw. Although we want to use Flying Knee, honestly, to gain the extra energy. Uh, let's... Let's dump it all on this guy. He's small. Looks like we can beat up on him pretty easy. Alright. You know what other frozen dinners are a disappointment? Boston Market. I know, I know. Here he, here he goes again with the frozen dinner crap. But listen. Some of them are better than others. That's just a fact. And I feel like it's worth talking about. I feel like it's a valid conversation. Get rid of you. Uh, let's do that to you. 
Mind block. Do we want to do Piercing Whale? We can. We're only going to take one damage. Uh, we'll hold off. That way this will proc on our next turn. You know, honestly, it's no surprise that Boston Market, the one near me, actually closed up. Alright, well, escape plan. If you draw a skill, gain seven block. Let's do it. Hey, we drew a skill. We also procced our ink bottle. Alright. Uh, let's dash plus. That's our defense taken care of. Ah, uh, we'll dagger spray. Looks good. Funnily enough, thinking about Boston Market now, also, once again, makes me think of my father-in-law. Because when when he wasn't going to the grocery store and picking up some frozen dinners for us, and he was actually stopping somewhere meaningful to get everybody dinner, he would always want to go to Boston Market. Because it was right down the road. It was maybe ten minutes away. Do we need more dexterity? How much dexterity do we really need? Uh, the answer is yes. So, Survivor, discard something. What do we want to discard? 24, 17. That's a lot of damage. We'll discard that. See if we can pop and neutralize. We can't. That's alright. <clears throat> but yeah, he would go to Boston Market, he would get us meatloaf, he would get us corn, mashed potatoes, all that good stuff. And, uh... Do we get a skill? We don't get a skill. What we do is we get you dead. Then... We can dash into you. That takes care of the, uh... Incoming damage. Ah, get rid of that. Nobody cares. Get out of here. Uh, nine and nine. That works. Uh, let's see what we got. Terror Eviscerate. Cost one less energy for each card discarded this turn. Deals seven damage three times. Uh, we end up discarding a little bit. Every time we play uh, Survivor, actually. But that's kind of a slow play. Like, do I want to rely on... I'm going to take Terror, just because it's not its not a particularly good card. 99 is its excessive. But it's a fun card. He used to go to Boston Market for us. And it was always really good. <clears throat> And then that went downhill, too. Let's see. Prepared. Get rid of the Curse of the Bell. You're dealing 10 damage. And we got some footwork. Uh, let's see. This'll get rid of the, uh... This'll take care of the damage. Yeah. Yeah, let's just throw it on you. Let's just throw everything we got on you. Get rid of you as soon as we can. <clears throat> yeah, it was... Maybe two years ago was the last time my wife and I went to Boston Market. Got dinner. Was it? I don't remember now. Now that I think about it. And the quality had just gone... It had gone way down. Uh, let's see. 15 block, discard a card. Uh, we'll toss neutralize on. You're gonna deal four. Flying knee. Strike. Was hoping to knock you down far enough that you'd kill yourself on the thorns, but that ain't gonna happen. Uh, simple defend is good enough. Yeah, the quality had gone really downhill. And then just, uh... It was actually a few months ago I noticed that driving past, they had closed up. Uh, yeah. Die, die, die. 
Uh, we don't need escape plan. Uh, we'll definitely do it just because it's a card. Uh, and we don't need either of those, actually. <clears throat> but honestly, the quality of their frozen dinners going downhill doesn't surprise me, considering they themselves, they seem to really just... I don't want to say shit to bed. But they, uh, they, they pooed in the sheets. We'll go with that. <laughs> they pooed in the sheets. I mean, I didn't particularly not like it the last time I had it. I just noticed it wasn't nearly as good as it had been previously. Uh, <clears throat> not a lot we can do this turn. You know what? We'll just, uh... End the turn. Proc our uh, pocket watch. All right. Well, let's backflip. It's piercing whale. And blade dance. Get some shivs. And that's the end of the turn. A little bit of damage coming our way. Alright. We get block, we get block. We also got a flying knee. Prepared. Get rid of the dazed. Looks good. Strike. Neutralize. Neutralize. He's going to deal 20. Yep. Got him. Doesn't matter. He's history. After image. Whenever you play a card game on block. Poison stab. Sneaky strike. You know what? We're taking poison stab. Entirely because... Excuse me. Of the Sneko Skull. Whenever you rest, you may add a card. Cards which, which exhaust when played will instead discard 50% of the time. Panic button. Gain 30 block. You cannot gain block for two turns. Whenever an attack deals unblocked damage, apply one poison. Uh, we'll do that. We'll take in Venom. A poison stab. And then Venom. Ah, uh, we gotta rest here, unfortunately. There's a sad truth. We gotta rest there. Hopefully our extra energy will carry us through here. Alright. Start out with Envenom. Then... Do we need to neutralize you? I don't know. This is a question reserved for the experts of our time. Math and magicians, whose knowledge of things like basic addition <laughs> far, far eclipse my own. So, let's just stack some shivs on you. Um... Do we footwork? I don't know. We dagger spray. Uh, there we go. We got you. And we're going to neutralize you. The addition of poison cards speaks for itself. All right. Nine damage, huh? Neutralize you again. Uh, you know what? Terror. We 
you're scared. Hit you with that. And the turn. Yeah, you ain't looking too good here, buddy. Four times three. I got an escape plan. I do indeed. That works out well. Uh, survivor. That takes care of our defense. Now let's just slap you around a little bit. <clears throat> you know what, my guy? You went for it. I'll give you that. You went for it. What do we got? Outmaneuver. Next turn, gain three energy. Flying knee, endless agony. I'll skip those. Alright. One bonfire is as good as the next. What are we going to smith? Honestly, footwork plus. We got two footworks, we might as well have them both. Have them both online. Alright. Well, start with the footwork. Send out some shivs. Uh, let's see. We don't have anything to draw cards. This saddens me. We do have... this some dash. And a neutralize. Gotta whittle down his artifacts. Do we want to use the dexterity potion? We're gonna use the dexterity potion. We've had three full potion slots for a while now. I think this is a valid time to start using. Uh, we don't want to slap this on him until we get rid of his artifacts. Otherwise, we'll just waste it. Uh, let's get some footwork. Back foot. That takes care of his uh, damage right off the bat. Uh, let's see. Yeah, toss that on him. Get rid of one more artifact. And then... Uh... I would like... to have played in Venom before I throw this out. But, honestly, now's a good time. So we'll die, die, die. Oh, you took my Envenomed away. And you took my Escape Plan. One of those I care more about than the other. Alright. Well... What do we do about that? The Piercing Whale. Alright. Then, we're gonna take four damage. Hmm. That's a given. And you know what? We're just gonna take that four damage. Because we want to get back and venom as soon as we can. I also realized that I have a very large galaxy brain and have my hand up like this in between my microphone and my mouth. So, God only knows how long I've been doing that. Alright. Well, we've got a lot of damage coming our way. And no clear way to mitigate it. But... 
sometimes the best defense is a good offense. Alright. That'll help. our chance to terror him. Then, man, nobody is, uh, attacking, so it will neutralize you, I guess. <clears throat> We're gonna backflip. Gonna wish we had gotten something different. And... As much as I hate to do it, gotta do that. Get in Venom back. I would have much preferred letting him kill himself on the thorns, but he wasn't gonna attack. So... This is, uh... This is kind of gross here, not gonna lie. Let's weaken him. Gain 22 block. Gain 14 more block. Still not enough to ride out all the damage, but hey, it's something. All right, he's stunned. I like that. Prepared. Get rid of that. Neutralize you. Alright. Then dagger throw you. Get rid of a defend. Uh Flying me. Yeah, I will backflip. Hopefully draw a neutralize. We stack that on you too. Yeah, we do. All right, this guy should be gone on our turn. Eighteen. While we defend, then we invent him. Dagger spray. Escape plan. Hey, look at that. That worked out pretty well. Alright. We can unload on this turn. And by unload, I mean play three basic strikes and do absolutely nothing else because we had a very basic hand. There we go. That's looking more appropriate. What do we want to do? Let's hit him with Neutralize. Ah, uh, let's Dagger Spray. Dealing 24. Survivor. Discard strike. And then, uh... What do we do here? You know what? We backflip. Prepare. Just hoping for another, uh... What do you call it? Can't remember the card name. You know, the thing. Neutralize. Alright. This is pretty easy. Just kind of throw the cards in his general direction. Okay, that worked. Forty-two. 
Well, here's the thing. We just lost. I mean, 42, 24, no defense at all. That's kind of a bum deal. But we can dagger throw. Into a backflip. Hit him with a neutralize. Survival. Toss a strike. Dagger spray. There we go. We just turned that frown upside down. And that's the end of him. Like, we can toss stuff at him if we want. Doesn't matter. He's poisoned. <clears throat> Turn that frown upside down. And if it came down to it, we always had our fairy in the bottle. So, take a potion. What do we got? Tools of the trade. At the start of your turn, draw and discard one. Nightmare. Choose a card. Next turn, add three copies of that card into your hand. Gain two intangible. At the end of your turn, lose one dexterity. Uh... This is good. Don't get me wrong. The question is, do I have room for it? The answer is yes. <clears throat> Fusion hammer. Gain energy at the start of your turn. You can no longer smith at rest slides. That's horrible. Why would you want to do that? Empty Cage. Upon pickup, remove two cards from your deck. Velvet Joker. Gain energy. You cannot play more than six cards per turn. That's kind of bad. That's pretty bad. You know what? Let's get rid of two cards. Let's get rid of... strike and let's get rid of two strikes free up a little bit of offensive space for our deck all right 211 gold Shop here, shop there. Shop way up here. There's a lot of elites hanging out here. We can actually dodge all of them if we go this route. We can hit a bonfire, hit a second bonfire, get a chest, third bonfire, and then a late shop. We're doing that. We are definitely doing that. I'll tell you what. It doesn't feel good being on the third floor, Act 3, with only three energy in the start of my turn. That doesn't feel good. That's a sad feeling. enemies are still alive. They revive themselves. That's right. Alright. Well. Blade Dance. I keep doing that. I keep using Blade Dance when I should be freeing up space in my hand first. They're just gonna block. So... We're just gonna... Whack him a little bit. And try to deal damage kind of uniformly. 
if at all possible. Get rid of you. Alright. That's a lot of damage. We got footwork. We got defend. Is that enough? Probably not. We could escape from them. That's... Now that I'm thinking about it... 24, 16, 26... Do we want to escape from them? Or do we want... to commit to the slow grind? You know what? We escape. Free of potion slot. Save some health, because we would inevitably be taking some damage there. And move on. Alright. Well, let's start with... I'm thinking foot. Footwork, followed by escape plan. Because he's gonna have, he has thorns that when we dagger spray, he's gonna hit us. Yeah. Then, survival. Ah, uh, let's just discard that. And. We're going to shift this guy. Three times. Alright. Well, we can neutralize you. Poison stab, you're gone. Uh, let's terror you. And then... End the turn. We gotta put up some defense before we attack them. This is good. Let's defend. And then blade dance. Taking a little bit of damage here. But... Every turn their thorns get worse. So, backflip, paired, get rid of that, <coughs> escape plan, yeah, we got that, piece of crap, uh, we'll defend, and then we will die, die, die. Still got armor, so he won't take damage from his seven. All right. Survival. Discard that. You play dance. Do that. He's going to come at us for seven. We'll knock it down to five. And... Honestly, we're going to end our turn. Not feeling taken 14 damage. I'll just take five. Defend. 
defend. Slam into him. Not enough energy. I thought that was a neutralize for some reason. We're almost to him. We're almost there. Uh, backflip. Escape plan. And dash. There we go. Bouncing flask. Piercing whale. Acrobatics. We'll take bouncing flask. We got rid of two strikes. We gotta replace it with something. A little more offensive. Alright. 14 damage incoming. Knock it down to 10. Toss some shivs on you. Knock it down further. Knock it down to six. Flying knee. And tools of the trade. Six damage incoming. Get rid of that. Let's be prepared. Terror. Ah, we don't need that at the moment. Footwork. Backflip. Defend. Twenty-six damage. Let's defend through it. Even if we aren't doing damage because we're defending, they're at least taking a little bit of passive damage from the thorns. Discard. What do we want to discard? Discard defend. It's a lot of damage. It's a state plan. Alright. Uh, let's get our other footwork online. And then let's dash into you. Debating what to do with the duplication potion. Uh, we will discard a strike. You know what? I know what we do. Duplication potion. Maybe I should throw that on somebody else. Who knows? At this point, all I know is I'm still looking at 17 damage. And... Survivor. That might have been an oops. I maybe should have thrown that on somebody else. They are not attacking this turn. So we can ditch a defend. And we can... Hit him with I die die. A blade dance. Chip away at you. 
then a dagger spray. Neutralize. All right. That was our opening, and we capitalized on it like nobody's business. Ah, <clears throat> uh, get, get out of here. Curse of Bell. No one likes you. Nineteen. Get rid of that. Escape plan. All right. One defend and a bouncing class. There we go. All right. Ah, uh, noxious fumes. So we replaced two strikes with noxious fumes and bouncing flask. All right, nine damage incoming. How do we feel about that? You've got 13 that we can cause from die, die, die. He's gonna explode in three turns. And I would rather he didn't, to be perfectly honest. So we're gonna toss some shivs on him. Then we're gonna die, die, die. Toss some more shivs on this guy. And then, uh... And you know what? Piercing win. Get rid of one of your own things. Hopefully neutralize you a couple times. And then hit you with terror, if we even need to. Alright. Survivor. This card of dazed. Neutralize. Uh, we're gonna hit you with that. Then... Toss out Noxious Fumes. Hit you with a strike. Wish that we could have done one more damage, because the thorns would kill you. But either way, you're kind of spoken for. Alright, it's prepared. Get rid of that. Uh, let's see. Poison stab. That's your artifact gone. Now we'll neutralize you. You're poisoned. I don't gotta worry about you. Dagger throw. I will discard that. Toss out a footwork. This is gonna hurt. <clears throat> Alright. Escape plan? No. Uh, do we need to invent him? I highly doubt it. He's got a lot of defense. I think what we need to do... Dagger spray. And then, uh, flying beam. Get some energy for next turn. We're gonna take one damage here. But even just at three points of poison for whatever I had on him. That's putting in work. Alright. Bouncing flask. You know what? We do it. Because that's the end of him. We can cripple our way through here. We got a bonfire to heal in. Alright. 
Well, escape plan. Dagger spray. Let's toss some shivs. Let's neutralize them a couple times. Blade dance. Toss some more shivs. Set out obnoxious fumes. And then strike him. Pretty solid first turn. He's getting mad. Alright. Prepared. Uh, what are we going to discard here? We're going to discard that at the moment. It's not all that helpful. Footwork. Uh, we're going to scare him right back. With some terror. Then... Uh... Tools of the trade. We're taking a lot of damage here. Not gonna lie. We still got the fairy in the bottle. Discard one. Basic defend. Let's see. Backflip. And then bouncing flask. I'm telling you. I'm not feeling too good about our chances of winning. I gotta be honest. Not just this fight in particular, but uh the run in general. And Part of it. Uh, bouncing Flask and Venom. What do we want? You know what? Bouncing Flask. That's just ridiculously strong. Poison Stab. I think our deck is a little spread out. We let ourselves get a little too... A little too nuts with uh, being versatile. And incorporating uh, a bunch of different things in that. You know, they're good. But. We really don't have room for all of them at the end of the day. Let's see. We'll do a backflip. And then we'll get some energy for next turn. <clears throat> Although, we do have him poisoned pretty bad. Discard. Uh, he's not attacking. We'll discard defend. Prepared. Get out of here. We'll neutralize. Ah, uh, you know what? Now it's time to play that, I guess. Dagger throw. Uh, get ready to defend. Escape plan. Footwork. Alright. Flying knee. Poison stamp. We got it. <clears throat> We're going to try to avoid adding more cards at this point in time. Let's rest up. Because even that, it didn't do a whole lot for us. We got to try and get through here as safely as we can. Toss terror onto you. Then you know what? In venom. Let's be smart about this. 
Die, die, die. Knocks him down to 10 damage. We're gonna block. We're gonna take four. He's gonna deal us 30. What if we do that? He's gonna deal us 16. Uh, what if we do this? Um, discard footwork. Hate to do it. He's not attacking. Alright. Noxious fumes. And... Do we push our luck? No, we don't. We don't push our luck. He's not attacking. He did that. Alright. Let's be prepared. And discard a... Uh, Discard tools. Toss bouncing flask on. All right. Eleven. Gain six block. I'm gonna leave it as is. Got bouncing flask again. It's escape plan. Poison stab. Blade dance. What does that do? Now he's dealing 30. Uh don't particularly like that. Survivor. Discard a shiv. Let's see. Let's poison stab him again. Now he's dealing 15. I'm fine with that. <clears throat> Alright. 48. Hopefully, knock him down a little bit at least. Defend, defend. Oh, what am I wait? What am I worried about? He's poisoned. A little bit of needless worry there. And eh, we're gonna skip those. If anything, we would want to be pulling cards out. Let's rest up. Alright, then head to here. 73 gold and a gremlin horn. Okay. Highly ornamented tomb. Offer. 354 gold, lose all gold, obtain a relic. The red mask. At the start of each combat, Apply one week to all enemies. Well, we have to weigh this against. <clears throat> what are the likely? What's the likelihood that this shop has good stuff for us? That's the question. <clears throat> Is it worth? Is it worth uh, cashing in now for that to apply one week to everybody, or should we wait? 
354 is a decent amount. We're gonna wait. We're gonna hold off. We're gonna rest again. Before you lies a decorated altar to some ancient deity. Duplicate a card in your deck. Mm. Do we want to do that? There's no downside to it. Except for the fact that our deck is already spread thin. And I don't really know if, uh, what are the words I'm thinking of? If duplicating a card, it's going to add a card, is that going to help with the fact that our deck is spread thin? Who is calling me? Scam likely. You know... I feel like if I didn't get scam likely calls, I wouldn't get calls at all. That's honestly how it feels. Get out of here. We're not going to duplicate. I don't feel like it's the choice. What do we got? Whenever you enter a shop, worthless. Whenever you would deal 4 or less unblocked attack damage, increase it to 5. Any additional copy of a card. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> relics kind of... The relics kind of uh, pooed the sheets here. Kind of like Boston Market. They're not horrible, but I mean, they're pretty horrible. So, costs one additional energy for each time you lose comp. Either help hit points deals 12 damage. Sadistic nature. Whenever you apply a debuff to an enemy, they take 5 damage. Whenever you apply a debuff to an enemy, they take 5 damage. Does that mean whenever I apply poison, even if they're already poisoned, they take 5 damage? What are we going to remove? transformed or removed, lose three maximum hit points. That's fine. You know what we're going to remove. There's a few tempting choices. Uh, honestly, this one. Get out of here. Now, infinite blades. Sadistic nature. Here's what I'm thinking. If we can invent them and get sadistic nature out, that would mean each unblocked attack is dealing an additional 5 damage. I think. I think that's how it works. And that's what we're going to roll with. We're going to try it. Uh, we can't really afford anything else. We can afford a potion. We've got an empty slot. Might as well. Nothing else to do with our money at this point. Was that the right call? I don't know. Oh, boy. I was hoping for no combat. But here we are. Here we are. All right. <clears throat> well. Let's start with Invenom. Escape plan. Hit some block. Neutralize. Shiv. 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 Uh, what do we do? Footwork. Footwork. Best we can. <clears throat> All right. 
So he's gonna die to poison. We don't gotta worry about him. Then, go Blade Dance. Shiv. 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 It's a toss piercing whale out there. Get rid of one artifact. <clears throat> and then strike. <coughs> We've got some unpleasant trees coming in the form of 10 damage. That's the way it goes. Okay, you're dead to poisoned. Dead to poison. Wow. Let's start chipping away at some of your uh, defense. Alright. Sadistic nature. Uh, neutralize. Paired. Get rid of tools. Noxious fumes. It's a dash. And then dagger throw. Hoping for a neutralize. Twenty damage. Well, the dash mostly covers that, and a defend covers it the rest of the way. Let's see. <clears throat> Alright, we've got some poison on him. Let's neutralize. Escape plan. Dagger spray. There we go. Give him a knee and he's gone. Uh, pass. All right. I would like to smith, but you know what? We gotta rest. Getting to the Act 3 boss with full health at this point with this deck, that's all I can ask for. All right. How do we want to handle this? Let's draw. If transformed or removed, discarding is neither. <clears throat> All right. Well, sadistic nature. Footwork. Let's get a random power. Caltrops. Whenever you are attacked, deal three damage. Whenever you play a card, deal one damage. Noxious fumes. Ooh. Let's throw out two Noxious Fumes. Then... Let's shiv you. 20 damage. Dash. And then, uh, backflip. Uh... Don't need to do that. Well, it could be... it could be a neutralize. It isn't. Alright. Where are we at? Well, double noxious fumes is really good. 26 damage. Um...
Let's do a defend. Let's do a piercing whale. Alright. So now our poison will start to accrue. Let's see. Do I want to gain my block now? 26 to 9. You know what? We'll do it. We'll get a block. Tools of the trade. A little bit of damage. Alright. Choose a card to discard. 26. Uh, we'll get rid of a strike. We're not going to need that. Alright. So... Let's neutralize you. 18. Footwork. Defend. And defend. Yeah. If we're going to win this, and I think we might be able to, it's going to be the slow play. Ah, <clears throat> uh, get out of here. Let's see. 16 times 2. 32. I hope. Otherwise, I'm going to look really stupid. Let's neutralize you. 24. Uh... Let's backflip. Escape plan. It's not a skill. Uh, let's see. What do we do? Do we invent him? Uh, yeah, we invent him. And we gotta remember, we do have the fairy in the bottle. little bit of damage coming our way right now. Forty hit points. Uh get rid of dazed. Paired. Get rid of basic strike. Alright. We're going to dash. That gives us 20. Against his 38. Uh, we're going to turtle up. Would have loved to have thrown Bouncing Flask. Said, be prepared. Uh, get rid of, um... Uh, get rid of Dagger Spray. Neutralize you. Survivor. Discard that, and then defend. 28 to 30. Alright. We're gonna slow play. We're going to let the poison do its work. Get rid of the dazed. 44 damage. That was not a clutch escape plan. 
can neutralize you. Down to 32. You can defend 12 of it. Now is the time for Blade Dance. 39, 53. Um. Alright, there we go. He's dead. We don't gotta worry about him. So we're gonna shiv you, strike you, and the turn. Terror. And... Uh, bouncing Flask. That's the end of it. Alright. I didn't exactly have the confidence that we were going to pull that off. But... We slow played it. You prepare your daggers. 631 damage. All right. <clears throat> Let's see what we unlocked. Bane, Catalyst, and Corpse Explosion. I love Corpse Explosion. It's such a broken card. When the enemy dies, deal damage equal to its max HP to all enemies. That's... Uh, I feel like you take Corpse Explosion, you win the game. We've unlocked this guy. Who I've played a few times. And I still don't get. So... Alright. Well... That's the end of that. Next time, we will start a run as this guy. The Defect. Uh, I have no idea how to play him. I've tried a few times. He... I think I really overthink him. He's probably not nearly as mind-bendingly difficult as I think he is. I'm probably just really stupid. So... <laughs> But that'll be for next time. So until then, this has been the JD Gamer. I hope you've enjoyed watching, and I'll see you around.